Hello, I'm Adam from Tech Dive AV Club. I've been doing tutorials for a couple years now as part of our main channel, Tech Dive, a channel for computer enthusiasts and tech reviews. Now the new AV Club channel will be home to all future tutorials and production related videos, so be sure to subscribe. Today we are looking at Vegas Pro 16 as a three-part video series. This video will cover changes from 15. The next video will cover what Vegas Pro 16 is as a whole, and the final of the set will be a getting started tutorial. We already have a host of tutorials for both Movie Studio and Vegas Pro, so be sure to check out those too. You can find them in a playlist on our channel page. These tutorials will be applicable to Vegas Pro 16 as well. We'll take a look at each of the promised new pieces and see what's different from 15. I'll have a tutorial for each of the major changes, but today we are taking a look at what and where they are. Native image stabilization, built-in motion tracking, workflow for creating 360 video, story mode, HDR support, advanced backup options, and advanced effects and essential EFX plugin package. As a kid, when I first started using Vegas, its large library of effects enamored me and inspired me to use every one of them in a project. And now, they've added more! The new effects include Auto Looks. This is a way to help your project imitate color schemes of popular movies. The name is a fun rip-off to the movies to help you guess the style of the presets. My favorites are Conception and Pirates of the Atlantic. Beezer? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Bazer masking? Which is like a crazy roided up cookie cutter style masking effect. Dual fisseye stitching. Kind of self-explanatory. Scene rotation, which is like a blender type effect. Tiny planet, which is like a rounded pinch effect and more advanced video stabilization, which can be applied to the clip in re-rendered and reduced lens motion. This can really help save a project. I've noticed that Magix has improved the previews for the effects too. They load a lot smoother and run seamlessly. That's just a nice touch. It also includes more audio editing tools, specifically the E-Effects tools. These remakes of Reverb, Flanger, and a lot of other audio effects are more user-friendly and a knob-based graphical interface, more traditional of softwares like Pro Tools. Vegas 16 has a workflow for 360 video. This is the new trend, and you do it through track compositing here. I'll have a tutorial soon. Storyboard mode and built-in tracking are also new features that will be covered in more detail in their respective upcoming tutorials. HDR color support means high dynamic range color support. That means Vegas can now handle more of the most extreme color depths and ranges that cameras can offer. Advanced backup options give you more control over the autosaves. It lets you do it more or less often and pick where the autosave location is so it's easy to find in a crisis. I'm excited to show you more about each of these changes in an upcoming tutorial as well as a range of beginners to advanced techniques to master on both Pro and Movie Studio. I'm excited to show you more about each of these changes in an upcoming tutorial as well as a range of beginner to advanced techniques to master on both Pro and Movie Studio. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more, comment if you have a tutorial idea, and thanks for watching. This was Tech Dive AV Club. See you next time.